Rob Holding is going to sign a new deal at Arsenal or ha more or less has signed a new deal at Arsenal. Whatever you think about him or him as a professional, my own two pence is I like Holding. I think he's a decent centre-half. Do I think he's first choice, 38-game calendar, centre-half where... I could put all my hopes in to get top four and things beyond that. Probably not. But I think he can be used in the squad. And I think he's people. He's one of those players, whether you like him or not, you have to give him his props because, you know, he got injured when he was in good form. He's come back. You know, he's almost been a forgotten man. He's come back. It looked like he was going to Newcastle. He's got his head down. He's worked hard. You know, he's got to captain the team, showing his rising influence and stature within it. He's 25. He's homegrown. I'm not saying Holding's going to be a household name, but when I look at Rob Holding, Gabriel, Real, by God's grace, Gwendozi, you know, Martinelli, Saka, Reese Nelson, Smith Rowe, all the Tierney's 22 and he's a leader in his own right. I'm looking to man at Holding and Tierney, you know, to be the leaders of this group, whether you're going to be what I feel Tierney should be first choice captain week in, week out, or a squad player like, like Holding. I want people that represent this club that understand what it's about and whatever I think about Holding, I think he's a man of integrity. I've never had to question his professionalism. I can question some of his decision making on the field. Never had to question his decision, his professionalism. You know, I don't think he's someone that's going to throw his toys under the pram, but he, he looked to want to leave on loan or permanently. He's got his head down. He's working hard. And, you know, we're going to get onto it slightly later, but it's a conundrum now because who the hell do you play at centre half? You know, Marie's doing his thing. Like I said, we're going to get into it, but Marie holding Gabriel, David Luiz, you know, we'll get into it, but you're having a tough time picking the first choice defensive partnership right now for this team and it's right and it's and rightly so for me i'm not fussed about holding signing a new deal because first and foremost he's 25 you know he's going to come into it he's going to come into his own now and become a better defender i don't think he's you know a defender to write home about i do think he can get into the england squad if he if he plays and improves and things because i've seen worse but i think he's someone that i have as fourth or fifth choice center half in an ideal world He's homegrown. We've retained, you know, we've we've signed him a new deal to retain his resale value and obviously to commit his future. And again, let's be real with ourselves. We know we might bring in a centre half, but you know, you're gonna have Mustafi, Socrates, David Luiz all leaving. We need to keep someone. So I don't mind holding staying as a squad rotation option. Like I said, do I feel right now in my heart holding is um holding is 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 top four beyond quality probably not clearly not I think you need to have Gabriel and somebody else who's levels but I think right now Holding's doing his business he's earned his contract he's doing what he needs to do and you know it is what it is whether you like it or not he signed a new deal it's, it's that it's that there and courtesy of the athletic people um hold you know and, and you've seen Arteta kind of correlate these things. So by the end of this, this live stream, people, you're probably going to see official confirmation via Arsenal.com. But from what I have come across at this time of making this video, this live stream for you guys, people, Holding has committed his future to the club by signing a new long-term contract. The Athletic can reveal. Shout out to the Athletic. Athletic, I pay my thing. You know, Rob Holding is better than Cannavaro. <laughs> and all them chants are probably going off. As you lot know, people, he has made 17 appearances so far this season and he started each of the past 11 games. And I think one thing which, which, which kind of showed me that he's risen in stature has been, um, if you remember the Manchester City game where he actually got injured, he was meant to start there ahead of David Luiz. So I think that kind of sums it, people. Holding is viewed by Arteta and Arsenal's technical director, Edu, as one of their emerging leaders and an important part of the club's future as they seek to rebuild a squad blending senior professionals with top-class emerging talent. Easier said than done. So, yeah, man, Holding's going to sign a deal, new deal. Like I said, for an, in an ideal world, for me, you've got Gabriel, you've got Saliba, you've got a bridge player, bridge centre-half, which, you know, Saliba is, is 19, Gabriel's 22. We need someone that's 25, 26, sort of lesser, not necessarily a big name, but someone that can, that can sort of help in the medium in the medium term. And I think right now I'm seeing that as Marie. So those three are my third choices. If I'm completely honest, I understand why the club is linked with another centre half. So that's probably four centre halves. And then you can throw Holden in and that's your five, that's your, that's your five, you know, that's your five centre half um, options, people. Um, so yeah, man, you know, big up Holden for signing that. Moving away from Rob Holden though, folks, people, and I'm sure this name puts chills down many Arsenal fans' backs, you know, Runison. You know, I'm never going to, I'm not, I don't want to lead a crusade against him and get at him and target him and things, but he's not levels, let's be honest. And, you know, this kind of goes into mismanagement as a football club. Like, again, Kronke needs to keep it moving. Kronke is a disgrace of an owner at this football club, but 
you know, the money that has been available to be spent, we can focus on the big money signings like the Pepe's, the Lacazette's, the Mustafis, the Jacques, you know, and other mismanagement things like Perez and the rest of it. But it also goes down to the free transfers as well, people. You know, William, Mkhitaryan, Cedric, you know, the, these are expensive free transfers as well. Kolasinac, you know, these are all expensive free transfers. And it also goes down to the players that are bought for sums, which, what, what, how would I describe it? Sums of today's football, which it isn't, necessarily groundbreaking like what 15 or 17 or so for Socrates you know one one or so million for Runnison you know it's not the end of the world even if it doesn't go right which it isn't but for me when you look at it it's mismanagement we'll never know whose decision it was to sign Runnison you know because we're hearing coaching staff and all of these sort of things for me the club needs to review their practices because it's never just Arteta can't just wake up and says I want that player and it's just down to him to get it there's other people that kind of have to sign off and get involved so at some at some degree, there's about four or five men that have watched footage of Runnison and conceded he's good enough. And he's apparently meant to be third choice. You know, like Subi says, the money adds up without a doubt. That's what I'm saying. The money adds up. And also, again, you know, we could go even deeper. It's the loan signings as well. You know, like I said, it's it's it's, it's all the big signings are one. It's the free transfers. It's these. But it's also the loans. You know, I don't I'm not. Sabas has shown patches of brilliance. But have we got money with that money worth? You know what? What's, it, what's his face before that as well? Who's the other guy we got alone? Denis Suarez. Have we got it? And for me, I look at the signing of Ronison. Now, I'll get onto it, but apparently he's third choice. Um, It was going to be third choice, which makes a lot of sense. But for me, I look at it, when you're linked with that Rayner guy at Brentford, you know, it, it, it's like what we say about Arsenal in that. It's like, are we going for players or are we going for them because they're available? Because Raya of Brentford wasn't available. Brentford said they don't want to sell him. So you kind of have to push it. You know, I see Runnison as someone who was first, second choice at his previous club, one million, that Dijon are not going to put up a fight. That's why we got, went for him. And I think sometimes you get what you pay for. And I always think, you know, I think, you know, I want no, listen, I don't want any footballer to fail at Arsenal. You know, I don't rate Runnison. I, I, listen, I was telling you, look, you got on to me because I was telling you a lot from Europa League group stages, this guy looks shaky. I want him to prove me wrong. I want him to develop. Apologies, people. Sorry, people, that's a plane. I thought something was happening with my laptop. Um, you know, I think Runnison, I don't, I, I don't think you listen, I don't want him to get it wrong, but I just think I just see Runnison as out of his depth. And like you, you know, to a degree, I have to get Arteta because you said he's not adapted in things and you threw him in at the deep end against Man City and you saw his level. You know, Runnison is uh, is he even a championship quality keeper. I don't think he's vocal enough. He doesn't give off a calming assurance that you need to in, in, in goal. I think he's always on edge, doesn't look the most vocal, makes bewildering decisions, positioning is quite poor. Um, you know, I, he's someone we just got to nip it in the bud at 25 years of age. If we're talking about loaning him out to get experience and top level experience or a higher quality loan, then I think we need to nip it in the bud. Yes, being a goalkeeper at 25 years of age is quite is quite young, but, you know, we ain't got time for that. We shouldn't be loaning that 25 year olds if he's not at a level right now. Let's nip it in the bud and go and get his peas, um, go and get our peas. But for what it said, you know, one player who could leave the Emirates Stadium is goalkeeper Runnison with Arsenal open to letting the 25-year-old move on loan if they secure a permanent replacement as backup to Leno. So obviously, if we can secure a competent backup, and you got to remember Macy's gone and Runnison's linked, so maybe we are trying for a goalie, maybe because our priority was Partey and allegedly our we left that, um, we, we between selling, putting Saliba on loan and bringing in a keeper, there's a couple areas we didn't address. So again, I can understand bringing a goalie, you know, you'd have Leno undoubtedly as first choice, you'd have whoever this second choice goalkeeper is, assuming he came, and you'd have Arthur Okonku or Carl Hein or one of these youth players, you know, making up the bunch and being third choice people. Um, apparently he was always viewed as more of a third choice goalkeeper, which, you know, makes me even more even more nervy as to why he even started that game and as good as we've been you know Arteta is going to make mistakes and has made mistakes this season and this is something he needs to learn from apparently Arsenal's decision is not a reaction to that explay the display the 4-1 defeat but they recognize the need for Renison to gain experience which should be possible with a host of teams in the championship in Europe interested in taking him for the second half of the season so it's undoubtedly already a transfer failure because you know hopefully we can get a loan fee you know Considering he's brought for a couple of mil, if we can get a figure a similar fee as a loan fee or sim or just below that, we can make some make some headways. You know, for Runnison, if he can go and play football and get some confidence and somehow come back a better goalie, I don't mind that people. But 
I just, and again, 25 years of age, he's still young as a footballer, really, and he's still young as a professional footballer. But I mean, it, it's not levels. Like for me, it's just, I, I need my goalie to give assurances. I don't think he's calm enough there. He's signed and he's contracted until 2024, and he is happy to be on the bench. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, apologies for that, people. I'm trying to. I'm trying to gain how many appearances this man's made. So what? Really, he's only played four. Again, he's played in. He's played in at this side before. Again, I'm not going to discredit the 62 appearances. But when I look at it, he played five times for Arsenal. One game really meant something against Man City, and you kind of failed. He's played 45 times for Dijon. So again, it's not necessarily. He's not necessarily the most experienced. So it does make sense. You know, he's only played 36 times in a top five European league. There is sense to go out and get loans and whatnot. But for me, this is where I have to look at us as a club because again me with limited resources talking to you guys i'm on transfer mark these got these guys have have smarter scout these guys got we scout these guys got all these things so immediately you know for me again young keepers i'm all for it but for me if you're going for a number two you want someone who's experienced someone who's competent someone who undoubtedly yeah leno is better than him but it's not too much of a drop off and things like that so when I'm looking at it, the, the information, we've seen he's been dropped at Dijon previously. We've seen he's played 36 times. Is this good enough to really be a second choice goalkeeper, third choice goalkeeper, even based on what the rumours are saying? I personally don't think so, but that's what they're saying, isn't it? So that's that's what they're saying. I can't really add, I can't add nothing into that with people. You know, I would like, I hope we bring in a goalie because I think last season showed what happens if we do not have a, a competent backup goalie. I think number twos are very hard to find. Competent number twos are hard to find because most goal, good goalkeepers don't want to sit on the bench. We had one with Martinez. He don't want to sit on the bench. And I think it was personally made abundantly clear to... Um, to, to uh, Martinez that Leno would be my keeper across mainly all competitions because because you, you were seeing it even when we started off the Europa League um, in that regard. So let's see what happens in that regards, people. I would like to bring in a goalie. And again, you're hoping Leno doesn't get injured and I'm not wishing bad mind on him. But as you've all seen, it's a bit dangerous when your keeper, you know, gets injured, you're put in a problem. We're lucky Martinez stood up to be counted. And, you know, Martinez... He maybe he was always this quality, but from what I saw at Arsenal in the in the small chances he got, I'm, Martinez, I'm not gonna lie, he was shaky. You know, last season he came into his own. You know, he bought, he made everyone buy into his way of thinking, and you're seeing the quality he's doing at, at Aston Villa. So who knows, man? Who knows? But hopefully we bring in a backup goalie. Clearly the priorities for January should be bringing in a backup goalie undoubtedly bringing in a midfielder if possible, whether that's an 8.5 or a 10, you know, f sorting out temporary homes for the Reese Nelsons and players like that if they need to go out on loan, trying to offload a couple of players, whether that's Ozil, who is allegedly going to Fenerbahce and all of these sort of things. You know, these are the priorities. How much of that can be done in January? I'm not too sure, people. I'm really not too sure. Like I said, for me, if I was Arsenal, the priority undoubtedly is seeing what we can do in the transfer market, specifically into midfield. You know, we've got Saliba out on loan. There's a couple of other young players I think need to go out on loan. Can we trim the squad? You know, Socrates and Mustafi are linked with moves to clubs every day. Mezzi Ozu the same. You know, can we bring in a backup goalie? Only time will, only time will tell, people. Only time will tell.